Temperamental. Does EQ have a Twitter? <gasps> if anybody knows, let me know. Three, two, oh, but we're going to PS2 you? anyway, yep. Alright, let me just quickly get this match tweeted out. Very nice getting out of that a combo. I definitely like how this bitch is really going. They're both showing like um that they're their neutrals are like really good. And missing that much. Oh. <gasps> no. Not like oh, this. Oh. That's very that's a very sad first uh But I definitely believe that Luminous, you know, can make this back if you know just doesn't let it bother him, it just shuts it off. Okay. Definitely trying to bait on an option for that lead shot there. Okay. Yeah, EQ is making quick Bring work right out. now. I'm only taking wow. 36 damage. Oh, yeah. oh my. Definitely playing like not even giving Luminous a chance to play. Especially since we've seen this um last bet against um Monkey as well. Never really giving anybody an option to, you know, play the game. Yeah, it was actually really uh, interesting is that, like, um, it may not have been as uh, commanding, but, like, you know, we saw, like, when Luminous was fighting uh, Z Minus, he kind of was doing the same thing as well. So now we're kind of just mm -hmm. seeing, like, Luminous getting a taste of his own medicine. EQ just kind of dancing over him. Uh, so, you know, really spooky stuff here. Still, you know, he's on his last stock, but EQ hasn't even taken uh, three digits of damage. This is getting a little scary. Man, is he gonna... Is he gonna end the game without taking a uh, hundred damage or not? Oh my. Well, 69.0. Exactly. Okay. okay. 98. He's got 98. Yeah, he's close. He's close. Okay, you're going to finally oh, be in those triple digits. But at what cost? You're on your last stock. It's at now 85 damage. Going to have to make... You're going to have to pull a miracle at this point. EQ is banging on all cylinders right now. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa. That was a little scary there. Okay. Wait. Wow, we're gonna land that landing box of the oh. forward air. All right, Luminous oh, finally nice. putting one up on the board, but I mean, a little bit too late. Man, is he gonna die? Definitely to up die there? to anything. I hope EQ doesn't like get get too cocky and fall asleep at the wheel again. You know. Here. There we go. Yeah, all right. 10% two stock. Good lord. Uh, Luminous is going to have to switch things up uh, quite a bit. Sorry. Got a jet. God damn it, Falco. I definitely love to see um, Luminous lead trapping a lot more. You know, we've seen, we've seen most of the lead trapping coming in from, you know, EQ, I but. I mean, to be fair, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you know he really had a chance to really get him off stage. He's gotta, he gotta hit him more and get him into that situation so we can see him finally mm. try and get those edge guards going. You know, mm. like right there, but, like but, for but, the but, for the second stock, he tried to get one, but you know he was able to air dodge to the ledge fast enough before Luminous could do anything. He had committed to like get up attack. Definitely, oh. like I'm mostly seeing though, just like you know, a lot of like nair to pressure, you know, the ledge, but. He could be doing probably just a lot more than just, you know, throwing out a hitbox, like, right at the ledge. Even though there's definitely, a, um, you know, a yeah. valid option of luck trapping. Okay, so, uh, game two, uh, something that we would normally see from EQ, but this is Luminous's pick, uh, opting to go to Battlefield. And yeah, uh, you're definitely right, uh, uh, in the edge guarding regard, where he tried to, like, go for a runoff, like, two frame, uh, probably would have wanted to see, like, run off Nair and just go for like the super meaty hit and like just go from there. It's like you're not going to get the kill immediately, but oh. EQ is. Oh, oh no. my. I think we're going to see EQ in Winner's Finals. That was very a very convincing first stop okay. and barely any damage on him. This is just yeah. really like commanding from EQ here. Nice. All right. Going deep. Like it. Oh, should have went for another uh, uh -oh. Nair, I think. 
you tried to time a back air, but that's like a little bit too precise. Uh, can be a little bit awkward online. All right, uh, using Electroshock to be safe on shield and kind of bait and punish right there, gain the kill. So already Luminous kind of waking up, doing a much better job here. Uh, right now, only down like 50%. Now, if he's able to hang on to the stock, uh, you know, you might be able to make something happen, but you know, if you're gonna roll right into Falco's arms. Uh, I don't know how welcoming those feathers are, but you know, he can tell us after. <laughs> Probably very hard. <laughs> okay. The edge boy, edge boy can't handle all his hard sharp feathers. Yeah. And it's not like he'd be a stranger to it. Yeah. He has wings himself. Like, come on. <laughs> All right, but yeah, hanging on to the stock here. Uh oh! Oh, oh man, no. I thought I almost spelled out his. Okay, I did. <laughs> oh, that was such a nice way. Yeah. He definitely waited. That was a very nice way to wait for his landing. Yeah, both he stocks now. Both stocks now for off stage forward air killing on the side, uh, for EQ. Uh, you know, Luminous kind of shows that he has what it takes for it. Uh, but yeah. Everything about, you know, EQ is just so commanding. Okay. Is that gonna kill? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what's Very commanding? Nice. A forward smash off the side, for sure. And I like that. Going under wow. the stage to just kind of wait out the invincibility. He's like, I'm not letting the invincible bird touch me with his uh, feather fists. Get out of here. Um, but, you know, still got a little bit of a mountain to climb. Oh, could he, I think he had one more jump. He could have done another nair there, and that would have put him in a pretty good situation, but... Regardless, EQ able over. to make it back onto center. Um, just do want to note that this is best of five, so uh, Luminous isn't out yet, and we okay. are, you know, we are seeing some adaptation. So, you know, I'm casting my vote that I think we're gonna see EQ with a 2-0 lead. Uh, but let's see, you know, if if that comes to fruition. If not, you know, next game can be a really important one because it'll be the game one of the best. Of Three, ooh, almost. Wow, All right, we got a good situation. So no, go off stage. Close. Okay, still got the edge guard going on. <gasps> Careful. Oh, uh, I like the high side B, but still wasn't able to escape uh, Pitt's clutches. And now we're like really super neck and neck. Very nice. Game. Nice. Um, ooh, great weight. Good. Good. Oh. Uh, Very nice. Okay. Back. Wow. Oh my God. The platform like caught Very him. Very nice weight on that platform. <laughs> Okay. Nice way yep. on the over there. All right, that's gonna be it. Yeah, Luminous bringing nice. it back. Very nice. That so, was super nice. Yeah. So actually, like I said, uh, you know, if he was able to bring it back, which he did, uh, this is gonna be now uh, the first game of what's left is a best of three, basically. So, uh, yep. Uh, basically, whoever wins the next game is gonna have counter pick advantage if we end up going to game five. So. Yeah, let's let's see what happened here. So you know, EQ at super low percent, uh, and like, wow, he took him, he killed him off the side at 95 before hit. That's crazy low. Um, wow. Yep, and then that whiff uh, with the electro shock bait and punish uh, worked out really well for him. Kept him in the game, honestly. And yeah, I, I really like, I really appreciate the fact that like Luminous was really able to like keep his cool. Like he, he's, he like died to like uh, the, those repeat fares, but he didn't, he didn't care. Uh, he was like, I'm fine. I know what to do. And uh, yeah, he kept it going. So now game three, one, one, uh, Luminous. Uh, yeah. So EQ just going to kind of pick right on back to Battlefield. This um, is like off stage and like you know let shopping or let or edge guarding was a lot better that game you know towards the end yeah he started like he definitely was able to like to go for stuff and the song does not match the stage in the slightest however uh back to the off stage talk uh, you know he needs to like try and figure out what can help him land in like those uh tougher more precise moves because like the nair is definitely like yeah you're guaranteed the hit but then you might put yourself in a situation where they're going to be able to tech the stage and then uh Wow, they're edge guarding you, you know. You know what would be very, I, I, I think it would be very cool and funny if, you know, Luminous kind of just went for side B off stage, you know, just to kind of like, you know, read EQ's um, side B back to ledge. Mm -hmm. And potentially even getting a kill at a very low percent. 
Because that side B from Pit is um, definitely really, really strong. So that could, you know, be very good in history. But at 152% from Luminous, I definitely, ooh, definitely getting this really good edge guard. And ooh, oh my out, God. Yeah, up beat, nice beating guy. out the and Nair and then putting him in like an awkward position where he was able to seal out that kill. But now into immediate, uh-oh. Yeah, that's going to be quite a lot of damage. Oh my god, this song does not matter. He actually ticked in the middle of that. That was very funny. Man, we really just keep rolling. Can we please jump from the ledge? If my man is 10,000 miles away from the ledge and doesn't have a gyro, you can probably jump. Please. I swear, it's like the mid-level player like curse where no one jumps from ledge unless they play like super speedy characters because they just don't trust their character. Bro, just land on the platform, hold block. What are they going to do? If you see that they have to overextend to land on that platform, you're good as gold. You can jump out of your shield and make it out free. Don't worry. They have to read so hard to like get that timing going. Anyway. <laughs> are you, you happy with your brain? They, they gotta, they gotta know, man. Uh, the amount of times I have Dill yell at me to like jump from stage, it's just like, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I stand that though. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's appreciation right there. That's love, and we, we stand that. Trying to see those improvements and, anyway. Uh, it's still pretty even, but you know, Luminous still has his back uh, against the wall here. Okay, putting him in an offstage situation, like it. Uh-oh, yep. Lost control of the stage, it's back to some neutral, but uh, try, gets to claim it right on back. That's gonna Ooh, be a good situation. Go. Okay, yes, back oh, except oh. no, except yes, it oh, worked no. out. Okay, not super, he was able to bring it back. Armored with the Electroshock, interesting. Very interesting mix up on getting up for ledge, but definitely, you know, trying to survive as long as he can, because he's definitely brought this back almost in even game. All he needs to do is probably just get like a... <sighs> nope. He's dead. Yeah, no, definitely. It was like one of the things, it's like once your percent is that high, it's just like you just got to get hit by like one like errant hit and it'll like be curtains for that one. Uh, like he definitely, like it was, it was even, you know, until it got hit. <laughs> oh! oh! Is that going to... Almost, almost. Yeah, no, EQ still has his back against the wall for this stock. You know, he's going to really has to uh, adjust to Luminous's pressure because Luminous has definitely been, you know, turning it up. <gasps> I think that's an interesting work. I don't think they think that, um, you know, granted he did live on Luminous, did live until 160%. Definitely needs to work on that survivability more often or not because, you know, you can definitely survive at least until, like, even 180% just by, you know, like, Mm -hmm. knowing yeah. how, like your opponent's option. I didn't like that uh, that arrow <laughs> there. He should have went off with like another Nair. You know, hindsight's 2020, but like, come on, Pit, you know this. He doesn't want to risk getting spiked, maybe. I don't know. You're, you're like, so, you're, okay. Okay, uh, though, very nice pressure it. right there. 40 damage? That's nothing. Nothing. Just pretend it was 0-0 zero, zero, and, and EQ just got the first hit. That's all it is. All right, but now you got to like, actually land the hit. No. Too. Like, come on. Luminous is definitely like kind of showing that like he really needs certain kind of um you know opening oh. in order to get you know that amount of damage from normally does. And that's definitely not gonna kill, but definitely look to where he, he takes his um edge guarding. Yeah, Luminous is uh doing a pretty good job uh just like holding control of the ledge. Uh oh, careful. Oh. Very nice reaction. He definitely reacted to that very quickly. Yeah, Falco's not like the super fastest character, so like you do electroshock like that, unless he's like hard reading it, it's gonna be a. Uh... <gasps> and he's gonna take it by oh, just no. just tapping him oh. with like that forward air, just like one of the hits, and it just freaked out uh, EQ. He was like, I have to tech, but then he didn't get hit by the whole move. That's always the trickiest thing about multi hit moves and air dodging in ultimate, oh, you know? Like. He re he reacted to getting hit. He didn't react to the move not completing. And so he was just like, I have to do this. And that's a bad situation. But he also definitely looked like he held the direction. You know, like he definitely needed to just tech and that's it. Yeah. But I, like, I think it's you hold away. 
to get to tech at like any percent. I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, you're no, you're talking. Uh, yeah, so like you're talking about like LSI stuff. Basically, just yeah. like you want, if you want to reduce your knockback, you hold down, uh, and that'll reduce the amount of knockback that you take. And because of uh, unteckables are possible in this game, uh, reducing knockback means that you're you higher the threshold of being able to tech things. But then holding down also means you're gonna have poor DI. And then there's also the fact that, like, unless you're holding jump, because the easier thing to do uh, auto jump tech is just holding up, and you'll get auto jump tech. So you'd have to you'd have to tap jump while you're doing. It. Like, there's so many different like options uh, that like that situation uh, can like come into. It's really hard. And you know, throughout that entire explanation, whoops, uh, we got we got uh, Luminous already at 120% EQ, not. Uh, trying to take this loss. He does not want any of the smoke. Luminous is just trying to keep it in the game and bag as long as possible. But, you know, um, I definitely love how, you know, throughout this whole time, even with all of the, you know, very minuscule, you know, like mistakes that he has been making, he's definitely been showing his domination against Luminous. Definitely, I feel like maybe just a little bit more he needs to start, you know, closing okay. up these cocks a little bit faster. But he's definitely could have had it, and he's letting Luminous, you know, get, you know, his damage that he really needs in those openings. But yeah. Okay, uh, so... You know, Luminous took a lot. Uh, EQ was doing a lot, a really good job of dealing a lot of damage and not taking it. But then, uh, before he was able to take the stock, Luminous did tack on a healthy amount of percent. Uh, Very random. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll just gonna catch that landing. Yep. Hi. I just please. Oh, already getting, you know, his opening. That's all really he needs is his opening. I definitely love, you know, how Luminous, you know, takes whatever he can with whatever opening he's given. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of, you know, Bayo, you know, from it. Just doing very much damage. But, you know, the difference is that, um, you know, don't really have that combo. Ooh, oh. Ooh. oh, man. Ooh, almost. EQ oh, handed Luminous a golden opportunity to get such a strong lead, but wasn't able to capitalize. So EQ getting that second lease on life here. See what he's able to run with it. Care oh, careful, careful. Oh. A very nice move on that landing. Wow. And a very nice game back on it as well. Coming up from EQ. Ooh. Uh, again. Not gonna yet, though. <gasps> nice. He did Falco Phantasm nice. instead of going for the ledge, just went right for him. That, yeah, that's kind of a risky move, but it paid off. So, good looks by EQ, just making the right read. Uh, whether uh, he banked on Luminous not being able to not see it coming or not be able to react to it in time. So now, you know, Luminous, you know, he's on set point. You know, like, if he's able to take these two stocks, he'll be walking away. But let's see. EQ's definitely playing it. He's playing a hella safe. He's just harassing him with those. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Oh, he was just like, look, no. I gave you a golden opportunity to kill me, and I really I really wanted you to kill me. So because you failed to do so, I'll handle it myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> last stock. Insolent. Insolent Ed Boy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, you know, EQ's still in the driver's seat here. He still uh, has the ability to play it safe. All right, finally going. Yeah, okay, good. I was going to say, when's he going to roll through it and just, like, hard punish? Um, it's really funny. It, it's such a 50 50 uh, sometimes because, like, when you get caught in a rapid jab, like, when you're the initiator doing that, doing said rapid jab, you, you have the choice. You're like, okay, do I, do I stop it early or do I. Do I double down and and hope that uh, me sticking with it 
they're not going to read that. They're going to try and do something silly, and I'm going to clip them, and then we'll be in uh, like a a good situation, you know? Because it, it, it's like it's like oh okay, like why did he stick to it? It's just like it could really go either way depending on like how proper the uh, person like handles the situation because you're already in the shitter like you you have a 50 50 mm -hmm. to just like make it out alive you, you you're no longer in a, in a position of power in that situation it is not a good spot so but eq just you know he just did the right thing and uh he went like oh lol you you you, you wanted to hang on to it well eat this f smash lol funny boy funny yeah edge boy all right so i think we're Going back to PS2, unless they did it really quick. Oh, wow, we're going to Kalos. Okay. Very interesting pick. I mean, um, yeah, interesting pick. I mean, from who's um, pick was it? I think it was um, Luminous, right? Yeah. Yeah. Luminous, I mean, from Luminous. Yeah, Luminous won game three, so he definitely got counter pick advantage for game five. Uh, lost the last game. And, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so. This actually is going to be pretty different from like all of them, all the sets because we have battlefield battlefield blast zones, but this is the first stage where it's kind of like wide open with like no platforms. Um, this might end up helping EQ a bit just because he can mix up his recovery with that platform, but that might be what Luminous is banking on to try and get the punish because like the nice thing about platforms is that you get to shark them, and so you can put out that nice nair, and even if you whiff, you're safe. And really, e ooh, okay. So, right now, super even. Uh, caught the underside of the Nair. Uh, the Nair isn't like entirely his body. It's like a little bit in front of him. If the animation is anything to go off of. Okay. Definitely really can see how this pick can definitely work out for Luminous. The all he does is kind of take out this first stop, and then he can kind of go back to what he's really good at because he's definitely proven that he can be really good at um you know juggling yeah no and he can just, definitely like, like not even very hard. he just like forces his opponent to play his game he's just like okay that that's the that's what he really wants like the first stock can be so pivotal and just like that eq takes that pivotal stock you know we're just gonna see him like hang back we already see that he's open to doing it like just how much especially when he's at such high percents like this dash attack not gonna do it that high ceiling gonna help him out uh-oh 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 Ooh, you saw he tilted uh -oh. his he tilted his shield up i think he wanted to do up smash out of shield but then maybe second guessed himself Okay, okay, getting this combo. It was a combo. Wait. Oh, uh -huh. I thought he was gonna continue in. Probably we didn't get a kill off that, but that was definitely very oh cute coming in from Luna. Taking the lead almost. But it's still a very even game. Yeah. All you really need to do is get back. Like, oh. oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh Luminous kinda like trying to stay off stage you know he has access to multiple jumps so he's able to like kind of harass in like a very awkward position but eq was not having any of that <gasps> Ooh, careful wow oh my god trying to get a read on that um landing there but just barely getting that miss fair enough in eq though Ooh. all right falling uh sour spot back air gonna be just enough to place him off stage Oh, careful, careful, careful! Ooh, we have to tech those, or we have to hold so away. Nice. Uh, it's a very similar that situation to, like, perfect. when you see, like, low-level players, like, DI in to, like, when they're falling, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to just hold in because they're, they're going to read that I'm going to uh, go out, so they'll, I'm going to cross them up, and then they get hit anyway because uh, they assume their opponent doesn't have eyeballs. Um, the next the next level of that is uh, those situations where you get put on the ground, and you're just like, I have to cross up, I have to cross up. Look. I remember, um, Luminous is, um, up. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, I really like that normal get-up punish close. with the back air. That definitely would have done it with how strong Falco's back air is. I don't care if it's across the stage. <laughs> Oh well, wow! That was very, very close death. Oh, but man. still holding on to that. Dog, I definitely really appreciate how Luminous is um trying to make the most out of what he's been given. Yeah. And with this stock lead. Yeah, EQ. You know, he's only taken 50 damage. So if he's able to make it happen, which he does, uh, you know, 
again, this is the same thing if it was 0-0 zero, zero and he just lost the first turn, you know? Like, just pretend that, like, mm -hmm. Luma's got that first combo string going and now it's your turn. So just take your turn, wait for it to happen, don't let them get theirs, and you can even this up, you can bring it back, you can keep them in an, uh, in an edge guard situation, but then you immediately lose it. You can keep center stage. Oh boy, that was a scary trade. I would have freaked out there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Ooh. Very nice on the two part, making it even. But now all that he needs to worry about is just kind of getting back to the king um, Luminous at the ledge. I, I really like the fact that uh, EQ waited to see Luminous try and like get closer to the ledge and when it's like, okay, now it is my now is my time to roll. I see you're trying to punish my normal get up with either down smash, forward smash, or forward throw. And I'm just gonna go <laughs> over there. Thank you. Okay, very I guess, oh. like, oh god, patient. I love the patient neutral coming in because they're just trying to, like, be very, you know, wary of what each other can do before, you know, somebody makes the very poor mistake of breaking out. Yeah, I, it's funny. It's like in the beginning of the set, oh, no, that's enough. Wow. wow. That's I wanted to say in the beginning of the set, we saw that EQ was, like, really kind of, like, you know, he was dictating the match, you know, like, like he wasn't, uh, he wasn't fighting uh, Luminous. Luminous was fighting him, you know. And and then we saw like at this last stage, like Luminous was staying center. He like had control, and I feel like it kind of, it kind of shifted. You know, it became that uh, Luminous isn't fighting EQ. EQ is fighting Luminous. Like he has that. That's the beast to take down. But uh, Lum Luminous overextended just slightly and got caught by the Falco down tilt and died off the top. So, EQ going to be moving on to winner's final. He's going to be playing the winner of Ralphie and WebJP. Really good stuff uh, by both players. That was a lot of adaptation. I really appreciate that play. Please learn to jump from ledge occasionally. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not even like a bad habit or, by these players. I'm sure they're actually well aware of that sort of stuff. And it can be a very like nerve-wracking situation in, in some situations. But yeah. Yeah, let's just see that down smash uh, that down to poof, yep he what did he go for he went for a, he ran in to do a grab let's see went for he he like went back he whiffed that then when he yeah he tried to punish the landing with a grab and then ate a spot dodge into a down till 